Okawaza designs beautiful and technically sophisticated bridges. His latest, at 3,040 meters above sea level, is the highest suspension bridge in Europe, and perhaps the scariest too. The Titlis Cliff Walk is found near the summit of Mount Titlis in the Swiss Alps. Vaza is an expert at building in the mountains. Still, creating the cliff walk was a major challenge for him and his team. Naturally, we're very proud of this structure and that we were entrusted with its construction in the first place. When you see people going across it, the location and in these conditions with the ice and snow, your heart skips a beat. A thick blanket of snow has fallen overnight. Olga Vaza pitches in to help clear the entrance to the bridge. It's minus 14 degrees Celsius and the steel cables are covered with ice. From this point, it's a 500 meter drop. Down below is the glacier. Looking to the south from above, you can see the Italian Alps. Vaza built the suspension bridge to withstand winds of up to 240 kilometers an hour. The bridge sways a bit. It has to. So there's the experience factor as well. It's a light bridge, so there'll always be some motion. The bridge, which cost 1.2 million euros, is the newest attraction on Mount Titlis. Visitors from around the globe make their way to the summit just to cross it. The snowy slope at the end is off limits in winter, as Vaza explains to tourists, but just setting foot on the bridge is exciting enough for many. Are you scared to cross it? I'm a paraglider, so no. <laughs> a little uneasy, but lovely experience. It is a bit wobbly, but uh, I think it's pretty safe. I mean, you can feel that it's very sturdy, so uh, I don't think anybody should be scared about it. The bridge is part of a tour around Mount Titlis. Starting just below the summit station, it takes visitors through a glacier cave and a tunnel to the bridge's southern exit. When designing the bridge, Vaza calculated its ideal path. Working at an elevation of more than 3,000 meters proved a logistical challenge. Most of the parts had to be flown in by helicopter, but they still finished on schedule. The more I got involved with it, with building Europe's highest suspension bridge, with daring to do something new, the more ambitious I got. I couldn't stop myself. During the five-month construction period, Vaza had to make his way to the summit each day. His company won the tender because it had already built several tourist attractions in the area. Among them, these suspension bridges near the Swiss town of Engelberg. Vaza also worked on Mount Stanzerhorn's Cabrio, the world's first cable car with a roofless sun deck. But the construction of the Titlis Cliff Walk is the high point of his career to date. Even though his work here is done, Vaza still likes to visit the summit. We grew up with the mountains. We live between them. For us, they're part of our everyday lives. Only now, at this elevation, seeing the mountains from this perspective, do I perceive them in a different light again. I appreciate their stillness. In the evening, it gets windy and the bridge sways. It's closed if wind speeds exceed 70 kilometers an hour but some people lose their nerve even long before then. I'm so scared. I'm really scared of heights. Too wobbly for me. Even before he built the bridge, Jorge Vaza came here to ski. He now plans to return with his family. We'll come back here for sure. The whole family's looking forward to it. Even my little daughter. She wants to finally see the bridge. Once the sun goes down, temperatures on the bridge can drop to minus 30 degrees Celsius, making the Titlis Cliff Walk a truly chilling experience.